Every time you work with someone else, you gain something. Passing on the knowledge and the experience that we've seen through the years, it's the most fulfilling part of my year. Here at Phil, I am having that opportunity to mentor the future leaders of the Air Force. I came to the Air Force Academy to be a leader, and I think civil engineering is the best place to do that. Being down here at the site, coming out of the classroom, getting the hands-on experience is really unique. They've seen it on paper, but actually putting their hands to the ground and actually placing concrete, doing asphalt, running heavy equipment. They work hand-in-hand -hand with civilian and military, so when they go over to actually do the war fighting, they have all the knowledge and the skills. So furrow is about three different things. One is education, educating our cadets so that they're prepared as a civil engineer in the Air Force. Two, it's training, training our mentors so that they return to their unit even more ready for those activities where they're experts. And then also about mentorship by bringing those enlisted mentors here and aligning cadets to them daily. The cadets, they like to get their hands dirty and get the experience of the job and uh, they're eager to step into any position that we put them into. They are our future managers, so having them come out here and see hands-on what we are doing and appreciating every different craft of CE, they understand what it takes to get a project going. Whether it's going into deployed locations and developing early infrastructure, or if it's just maintaining regular base operations, they have a, a really big part to play in the Air Force. My favorite furrow project has been the wood frame project. They're just going to kind of throw you into the project, and then they'll actually explain the process of what you did and how you got to where you were supposed to get. The furrow motto of a build first, design later is based on a systems approach and a hands-on approach that bridges the gap between theory and practice. This really switches it up, allowing you to do or construct something first and then understand why you did something the way you did later. While Furl is a graded course, the focus isn't really on the grade, it's on the learning. They know they haven't learned this stuff yet, so they're willing to try things. It's the first look that the cadets get at the real Air Force Civil Engineering. I'm a little bit biased, but the enlisted force is the heartbeat of the Air Force. As a civil engineer officer, obviously I will have enlisted people under me. And by working with them here, asking them, what do you want from an officer? Because when I get to that position, I want to be that person that they want to see. No matter what they're doing, whether it be the Hogan's heavy equipment, welding, they're right beside them the whole way. They're telling them what to do. They like to tell them stories, war stories, what, what makes successful officers in the Air Force. They'll tell you straight up. They'll tell you you're wrong and show you how to do it right. These mentors are bar none the, the best people I've dealt with so far here at the Academy. I can't emphasize enough uh, the fact that Furl does not exist without the mentors. They bring that experience from the Operational Air Force that they get to share with these cadets who are aspiring to be second lieutenants. This is my ninth year doing it. That's six to seven hundred future officers that I've had a chance to work with. They're young but they're brilliant. They're hard workers, they're energetic, they're very enthused about this program. It's been a rewarding experience because of all the cadets that have reached back and said, hey, your program is absolutely amazing. Through the years of talking to all the officers that I have that have been through Furl, it was the best experience in their whole time at the academy. So just to see that and help them have that memory, it's fantastic.